ecosystem gives to you is a possibility to to see a, 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 a wider world. Que lo que era bueno, entonces llevó a mi vida el Sistema Nacional de Orquesta y de ahí comenzó toda mi carrera y, y, y seguiré hasta la, el día que me muera. Our team from the New Brunswick Youth Orchestra is here in Venezuela and they have a first-hand experience of how the program operates and through our learning we hope to understand what can fit and work and uh, enable us to adopt a similar program in New Brunswick. The program was founded 30 years ago by Jose Abreu and so he actually began in a parking garage with 11 children. He gave them instruments and he taught them and he said, you come back tomorrow and we'll continue to learn uh, how to play music. And the next day there were 25 children, the next day there were 38 children, and that continued and today in Venezuela there are over 300,000 children every day in an after school orchestral music program. ¿Qué puedo decir del sistema? El sistema es como una casa, pues. Es el sitio donde uno viene, es como otra familia. One of the things that Abreu has said is that uh, from the moment a child begins to play an instrument, they're no longer poor. Although it's quite a poor country by our standards, in fairness, if we take a good look and we don't have to look too far, we have uh, somewhat similar issues in, uh, in our own way back home in New Brunswick and certainly throughout Canada. We've been back four weeks, an awful lot has happened. And uh, as we look ahead, an awful lot more has to happen yet. Uh, school starts in about six weeks from today. And so we need to be uh, fully prepared to launch our program early in September. One of the things that stood out to us in Venezuela is here is a country that's uh, underdeveloped, that has extreme issues of poverty, and yet they're implementing this magnificent program that includes more than 350,000 children. If they can do that in their setting, you know, why can't we do that here in New Brunswick and in Canada? You know, why would the New Brunswick Youth Orchestra engage only around 100 kids a year? You know, why not a thousand or two thousand or three thousand in our province? I think one of the most exciting developments has been our partnership with School District 2. Uh, Karen Branscombe, the superintendent, and she was anxious and uh, excited about the possibility of partnering with NBYO in implementing an El Sistema program in her school district. So today we're in Beaverbrook School, and this will be our first El Sistema Center in New Brunswick. We have way more capacity and potential at the starting point than Abreu did 30 years ago. We're having to take the steps that we need to take in faith that we will find the necessary human and financial resources that we need to make this program possible.
Venezuela, Venezuela, the itch, itch, yeah, yeah. Venezuela, 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 the itch, itch, yeah, yeah. 